Thanks again for visiting OptimizationTutor.com and today we have an exciting new video on how to connect your advanced QR code tracking to analytic goals. So if you go to Google and you go to your analytics account, how do you track QR code downloads and how do you know what they're doing on your website and are they accomplishing the goals that you want? The example we're going to use today is Lentomai.com. And you can see here, um, we have multiple ways that we want them to get to the application page. You can see we have a click to apply here, we have an apply now here, we have a short form, and even if you go to the bottom, there's another conversion button. So the goal, of course, for this site is to get people to apply for um, small business funding. Now, when we do a super media campaign, like in the yellow pages, and we put a QR code into the phone book, for downloads, we want to be able to track and see if those downloads are turning into customers or what's going on. So the first step in any goal process is defining the goal path. So the first one is we want them to land on the application page. Then we would want them to complete the next step and on and on until we get them to do everything we want. So being able to track what's called the click-through rate to the application page is extremely important. That's the first thing that tells you how well the initial view of your website is doing in getting them to take the first step which is to click to apply. So for this you have to go to analytics. The normal thing you would do from here is click view reports but to get to goals you actually have to go over here and hit edit. Okay so we have uh, five goals and you normally there would be a little add goal button right here but I've used all five of the goals for goal set one. So I'm just going to hit edit so I can show you how to get there. Okay, so what you do is you give your goal a name, you check URL destination, leave head match alone, and then you would paste in the, the page that you want to track. So we would go over here, click apply, go up here to the URL, uh, copy this, go back to goals, and in here we would paste it. Okay, so now our URL to our application page is here being tracked. You don't want to have it case sensitive and we could give this a goal value but since this is just a view to the application page we're going to have no goal value. And then go ahead and click save goal. There we go. Now, if you remember, we started off with our QR code. We went to Google URL Builder, and here's a little different than the last video. So I pasted in lendomy.com, campaign source super media, which is the phone books, campaign medium, QR code, campaign content, phone book, and a campaign name, lendomy.com. Hit generate. Then you take this, uh, copy this, and go over to Google URL shortener, paste this in, click shorten. Voila, you can see right here, this is the link, here's the short link, and go ahead and click details, and if you remember this from the last video, you can right click this QR code and save it as and use it in your phone book ad or wherever you want to use it. Then you go to analytics, you set up your goal tracking, right, like we did. So go ahead and click view report once you get here. And now this is a normal analytics dashboard. Go over here to traffic sources and click on campaigns. And you can see right here we have the lentomy.com campaign, 655 visitors, they're, they're viewing an average of 3.62 pages, they're on the site an average of 2 minutes 11 seconds, 99.54% of them are new visitors and they have a bounce rate of 35.42 percent which is really low so go ahead and now that we set a goal we can see it right here goal set one so go ahead and click that and you can see that lentomy.com campaign has a 46.87 percent um, click through to the app rate so if you remember back on the website that's a click through to this application page. 
So 46% is pretty good. Um, you know, that's, that's pretty high, but you want to strive for like 60, 70, and even 80% if you can for any kind of conversion. That way you can spend more money on your traffic and make more money off it. Now, if you had an e-commerce site, you could set your, your e-commerce right here. You'd be able to say, show, oh, we made, you know, $500 from this campaign. It would show here, right here, show your transactions, your average value, your e-commerce conversion rate, and your per visit value. Per visit value is really important because that tells you how much you can pay per click. So if you're using pay per click and your per visit value is five bucks, you know you can bid up to maybe four bucks per click and uh, that way you're making a dollar profit. But in this case, we're tracking an app view at first. Um, you can see I have other goals here, business plan view, upload, affiliate registration, affiliate sign up, and then overall conversion rate and per visit goal value, which is set to zero right now. But we can see we, we were able to track from a QR code download all the way through, and then we see that 46.8% are uh, clicking through to the app. So that's positive um, information for this brand new site. You can see there wasn't very much traffic at all, zero, 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 and now we're getting pretty decent traffic for that new site. So that's it. That's how you connect your QR code tracking using URL Builder, sending it through your URL shortener, which is landing on your application or on your uh, conversion page, which is here. And then you're tracking the user's behavior of clicking the apply button and going to the apply page. That's the first step in this goal funnel. Now there's further steps and we can get more advanced, but this is all we're going to do for today. So thank you so much for visiting Optimization Tutor and watching this tutorial and we hope you have a great day.